Alrighty, uh, through Vanderwin, and this is the 3D Pandora Box 12F. It is the 3D RRTV. Um, it has 3,333 game ROMs on here. Uh, it's basically um, arcade board in the center here. Uh, you can see in the back. Uh, this is where the board is actually connected to the uh, to the case. Your power input, HDMI, VGA, audio out, volume control. That's for a speaker that's on the uh, right hand side, and two USB hookups. Um. Anyway. But apparently, my copy here, the switch, just ended up breaking on me. So I actually had to get some wire and I had to actually uh, bridge the uh, connector between the in and out for the switch. Because the switch is just connecting the power supply um, to, um, to the rest of the board. So I do use that, made a with the bridge and uh, got some electrical tape and put on there and seems to work okay. Uh, but previously the HDMI port um, doesn't want to send video um, for some reason so but VGA seems to be fine. Uh, so for that Amazon. I ordered a VGA to HDMI um, converter cable. There is an audio uh, 3.5 millimeter jack, um, which that should go into this port down here, and it should convert that to HDMI. So I'll be able to have the video and audio on one channel, and I will use that to do recordings of the actual um, gameplay of the actual device. All right, so I got the uh, the bridge connector had fell off on the inside, so I had to retape it. But now it's bypassing the switch and power to the board. And I plugged in you see from the back there uh, for the VGA adapter. Now let's ran to my splitter box and to my TV. So that seems to be working. So all right, uh, now I can get some uh, direct capture. This is some Super Mario 64. I'm uh, back in a second. All right. Well, I'm having trouble with uh, OBS picking up the audio from the HDMI, but it does go through. The TV, and then without that, um, if you unplug the audio jack, there is a uh, speaker inside here. Control in the back. So, looking at your monitor so it doesn't have audio input, you can still hear the sound from the device itself. 
Right, so now I'm playing Maya Kart 64. Uh, my other capture device on uh, OBS doesn't like audio, so I switched over to my Elgato game capture. I'm using the Elgato game capture software. Um, I wasn't able to get the audio working with my VGA to HDMI adapter, um, and now I'm showing some games. Um, N64 is like one of the more difficult systems to to emulate. Um, so there's going to be stuttering and um, a lot of audio issues if you're going to see in a second here. Now, if you hear that clanking, or that is the joystick, there's like a there's a dust cover over that. For some reason, the way it was um, put on there, it lets the stick to the surface of the um, of your arcade board. But um, other than that, the controls work pretty okay. Um, I have tried multiplayer uh, for this. It does work, but um, it, uh, it's a little bit slower than, of course, doing single player. Um, you can also use a USB um, USB controller. Like I've used Xbox 360 wired controller. Um, that that works fine. But it turns out it will not let you play four player games. It will only do two players. If you plug in a USB controller, it will assume that that controller is player one um, and no other inputs will work. And I think that's enough for now. Here's the menu button. Uh, when you do that, uh, you have play on the game, it'll let me create a save state and load that later uh, for continue playing. But this just is continue or exit. Exit. Uh, there we go. And it loads back to the main page. Um, you can go by all. Um, Each is about 10 titles long, 334 pages. I mean, you know, 3,000, you know, 340 uh, about um, games on the list. You can go up to category. And now this will filter by platform. And 64 games. Other one was PlayStation, uh, Famicom uh, computer system. Most of these are going to be uh, Japanese versions of games. Uh, there's some like these from the Versus series on here too. Uh, here is the um, Super Famicom, um, Super Nintendo in the uh, in America. The vast majority of these games are the Japanese versions. Like they have Final Fantasy VI, Call of Duty Fantasy III, um, in Japan, uh, Fire Emblem, uh, Front Mission, Legend of Zelda: Link to the Past, Japanese version. Same thing. They call this one in the listing. It says Metroid Prime. This is actually uh, Super Metroid. And this is the Japanese version as well. Uh, this is like I forgot this is like the 
like the third game in the Mana series that was never released in America. Super Bomberman, Spider Man, Tales of Fantasia, that's the Japanese version. Um, yeah, so there's like only like 30, 30 some of the games for that. Okay, Game Boy Advance. There is like 300 titles on here. And the very vast majority, these are in Chinese or Japanese ROMs. Uh, there is only a handful of games on here that are actually in English. Like Pokemon is actually Japanese. Um, just a video preview here so you can goes long enough. But look at that. Oh, that's like Chinese here. Super Wars Original Generation. That was in Japanese as well. Tales of Fantasia. This one is in Japanese as well. Um, yeah, the vast majority, at least the Game Boy Advance games on here, are Japanese or from Chinese. I'm um, saying like US edition, European, or say like Hong Kong or or Chinese um, on the list. So that can help you narrow down uh, which ones. Turn play. And then there'll be a bunch of games where the title on the um, on the list is not with an actual real life title. And here's Game Boy Color. Um, like for some reason they have... Legends of a Link to the Past. No, no, Legends of a Link's Awakening DX as Sarda Legend DX Dream Island. That's what they put down there, which is really weird. Um, but there's only about like 20 games on here. Star Ocean Blue Planet, this is Japanese. Um, here we have the Xbox logo, but this is actually um, Mega Drive. Um, let's see here. Um, some games don't seem to run run that well. Uh, let me try to find. Here we go. Let's just play a song. Uh, now, when on the main category, there is a, a port, I think, of Sonic Arcade. Okay. Now there's Knuckles, takes the uh, emeralds. This one plays a little bit better than the being the main port. Uh, so I'm using a arcade stick instead of a controller. It feels a little weird playing this, but at least um, the actual Genesis ROM plays okay. Alright, here we go. Back to we're back.
Alright, well, that won't. And here we go, the safe state is available. You can just do a safe state. Load state, D, just back there. And I can exit game. Now that'll let me play back later. Gotta continue on. Uh, so there's not as many uh, Mega Drive games on here. Their platforms. Uh, this is the PC Engine, um, or PC Engine or Turbo Graphics 16. Anyway, three Dreamcast games. You have no idea. There's some like Shoot 'em Up, then it's like. Marvel vs. Capcom. Like here, FBA. Fighting Board Arcade. I think that's what that basically a bunch of King of Fighters. Um, Street Fighter is going to be on here. Um, yep. 146 pages. So, about 1400 uh, games in here. The Last Blade. Round, uh, Vampire, Night Warriors, uh, Dark Stalker series, the wrestling games, 942, 943, shoot 'em ups, yeah, there's a whole whole bunch of stuff on here. Um, then over here, main. Um, there is about 700 on here. There are some King of Fighters. Most of these are going to be all the different variations and versions of Street Fighter. Um, more combat. A bunch of shooters and stuff like a whole bunch of things I've never, I never even heard of before. And then there's the emblem, and here it says this flag. There, um, those emblems change by, by the genre of the game. Sports, this one is puzzle. Um, this is like a, a shooter. Um, this is like racing, um, fighting. So you can kind of tell of what the genre of the game is. But for some reason, it will not let you search by genre. It will only let you search through the platform if you go by category. Um, so that, with respect to PlayStation, there's only about you know, 10 games on here. Or Combat, Tekken. Um, here we go. And then your recent shows you your, your last 10 games that you've uh, that you played, and then search function. You can search through the list. Um, here, try to do Mario. And a my yep, and only starting to pop up. Mario Brothers US. Uh, that would probably be, that was the Mario Brothers arcade game. Mario Kart. That would be Super Circuit Game Boy Advance. Mario Kart 64. Mario Party, Mario Party Advance, Mario World, and yeah, maybe a couple of those, but yeah, um, search, search function does that, um, and uh, yeah, that's, it. that's basically it, although this, this will only let you do two players for games, uh, it will not let you do um, three or four players, even when connecting two separate USB game pads to the USB ports in the back. It will only recognize one and go interpret that one as as player one. 
and it will mirror the controls for player one that's on the actual board here.